it's time to say goodbye to Cam. He's got to hit the road and get back to Colorado. Ride safe. We'll see you in a few days. Yeah, you too, man. Safe travels by yourself. I know that's not easy, but uh, be careful out there. Well, you got it. All right, day number five. Heading out from Ten Sleep and the Ten Sleep Brewery, the campground. And we're going to go up in the Bighorn Mountains today. There's the main highway over there on the other side of the canyon, but we're on this little dirt road. And now we're Heading coming out of this dirt road area where all the rock climbers are. We're going to get back on the main highway here for a little while. This is the Bighorn National Forest, and I'm at about 9,000 feet of elevation. It's really cooled off this morning. It's in the mid-50s, so really pleasant. And this road that I'm going on, it's getting more and more challenging, more and more interesting. That was a really fun ride coming through the Bighorn National Forest. I really enjoyed that. Some of that high country riding was really spectacular. And the road was really bumpy and rocky, so it, it, was, it was energizing, but it wasn't really too difficult. I've got a ways to go before I get back into civilization, get gas. But this morning's expedition up and through this part of the Bighorn National Forest was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that part. Beautiful views over here to the left with all these cliffs. So this area here behind me is the Renner Wildlife Habitat area. And that's what I just went through after coming out of the Bighorn National Forest. And it was kind of a descent coming out of that National Forest. And I thought it was gonna be just kind of these easy plains, fast riding that we've been on before. But it actually turned out to be one of the harder sections of the route so far. Look at that, they made a special contraption. Boy, that is a nice invention there. This is actually a pretty challenging road to ride in some spots. There's some big ruts and then there's even smaller ruts within the big ruts. Um, the road got really narrow, it turned into a two track. Some parts of it were rocky and loose, there were some small ledges, other parts were really sandy. Now I'm going through all of this sagebrush. Not what I was expecting, but nonetheless, one of the more unique stretches of road. It's, it's like it doesn't get a lot of travel, it's, it feels very remote, it feels very rugged, and it's not at all a high speed road. It just throws everything at you in these little ways and you know there were several times that ha you know had I not been really paying attention I would have been caught off guard by a rut or a puddle or a ledge or some rocks or something like that so one of the more challenging sections okay uh, I was just gonna say it's a little muddy there yeah wow real muddy okay Let's see how we can do here. I think the camera is still rolling here. I'm just sitting on my bike, which I have to now pick up because I fell over in the mud. Okay. With any luck, maybe it bent my handlebars back the way they should be. Just a joke. I'm gonna put the helmet back on, carry on and be a lot more mindful of this, uh, this dark colored um, surface here because it's slippery. It looks like I'm back on a main road now. I'm gonna head up to this town called Hyattville. It wasn't big enough to really have a store or any kind of services or things like that. So I actually had to go off route 
for about 40 miles to get to the nearest town that had gasoline and groceries and things like that. I should have got those things this morning in 10 sleep, but I did not realize that it was gonna be an all day ride without any opportunity to get anything else. Today is downright um, just gray and cold and kind of a, a different environment for sure. So let's get packed up here. We'll get on the road. We'll head back into the Bighorn Mountains and find a place to camp tonight. So now the road is getting more difficult. Very rutted out. Looks like this is the Bighorn National Forest boundary. Nice little rocky climb here. Now we're going back into the forest and it looks pretty muddy up here. This is a really bumpy, rocky road with lots of mud puddles and roots and from trees. I'm ready for a campground. It's been a long day. We've done about 165 miles so far today. And here we are at the Medicine Lake Lodge Campground. This looks like a really cool property. Lower Paint Rock Lake Campground. I'm gonna fill out the entry form. I don't have change, so I'm gonna put $40 in the envelope. This is my campsite registration. There we go, proof that I've paid and I'm registered. Welcome to your campsite. It is a wet one. I think I'm gonna put my tent right here. We'll get this set up in no time. Now we definitely want to put the rain fly on the tent. And there we go, we have a tent. And I might just throw a couple more stakes in the back. It's pretty rocky, this ground. Now I'm gonna get the air mattress out and blow the air mattress up. Get that inside the tent. And I'll get my sleeping bag out now before it gets wet. For now, I'm gonna leave all of my electronics in here. My laptop stays right in the bottom here. Now, I'm gonna take my camp kitchen out because I'll be using that tonight. And I'll use these hangers here to hang the camp kitchen from these branches. And there we go. The camp kitchen is ready for action. I'm gonna bring tonight's dinner, which is creamy chicken and dumplings, a little bottle of wine, the campground host just paid me a visit. He stopped by in his truck, checking in on me and wanted to let me know that I'm in a double site that costs twice as much. And I told him that I already happily paid my money, put it in the envelope. And he said, okay, you're good to go. He was gonna try to figure out a way to get me a cheaper campsite. But at this point, I'm all set up. I like this campsite, I'm comfortable. I guess I don't mind paying a little bit of extra money. And so he said he would uh, bring some firewood over for me for free. So nice guy, nice to be taken care of. Ah, there we go. One of the few campfires I've had on this trip because of the fire bans, but it is allowed up here in this container tonight, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. Old Sterl is getting a little bit tired. I spent a week riding around the mountains of Colorado before I did this trip, and then five days doing a thousand miles on the Wyoming BDR. Turn around, go back to the start, and do it all again. That'll be three weeks of Adventure riding this summer, my big summer ride up here in Colorado and Wyoming. In the future, when I look back on the summer of 2021, it'll definitely be Colorado and Wyoming that stands out in my mind. The big ride of this year.
there's some forest fires up there, so I believe they've got the road closed off. This is really beautiful high alpine country with all these flowers around here. And this is it, the end of the Wyoming BDR, right here at the Montana border. Well, this is it, my friends. We've made it to the end of this Wyoming adventure. My odometer is showing that it's about 1150 miles to get to this point from where we started six days ago. I really want to thank you guys for joining me on this Wyoming backcountry discovery route ride. And of course, I want to thank the Backcountry Discovery Routes nonprofit organization. You can go to their website. It's ridebdr.com. You can learn all about the organization, become a member, become a volunteer, learn about all of the other routes that are already in existence. There's 11 of them now. This is the 11th one. You can download free GPS tracks, purchase paper maps, get all the information that you need to go out and ride any one of the backcountry discovery routes. So go to ridebdr.com, check out the website, learn more about the organization, and consider becoming a member as well. I'm on my way back home and look at this. This is a crazy ass hailstorm. I'm getting beat up out here. This hailstorm that just came through, it was the most violent hailstorm I've ever ridden through. And I tell you, I was not expecting something like this. Thanks a lot for watching this series, you guys. There's gonna be more to come as always. Ride safe and we'll see you next time.